Thank you, Max. Now to a 2 News crime alert. Tulsa police searching right now for a group of men after a homeowner is shot inside his own house. 2 News reporter Brandon Richard is live to show us what led to that shooting. Brandon. Well, investigators tell me this whole thing started as an attempted break in around 11 o'clock today. They say the men pulled up to this East Tulsa home. One of them kicked in the door and police say that's when he came face to face with the homeowner. A typical Tuesday in this East Tulsa neighborhood inside this house, a homeowner goes about his day when all of a sudden the doorbell rings. He wasn't expecting anybody. He got up uh, as he proceeded to head into the living room. The front door was kicked in. That's when police say the homeowner came face to face with a man, an attempted burglar who carried a gun. The suspect fired two shots at the homeowner. Uh, one of the rounds hit his finger, another one was lodged in his arm. After shooting the homeowner, investigators say the attempted burglar ran away. They say two other men waiting in a parked pickup truck also sped off, leaving neighbors like Will Gross worried about their safety. It's pretty scary. I mean, it really bothers me. I mean, I raise kids here, so. That's uh, not something I like in my neighborhood. Police say crimes like this becoming a trend. It appears more and more of our burglars are being armed, and when they encounter a homeowner like this, it can be extremely dangerous. Which is why they say the homeowner is extremely lucky to be alive. And once again, the homeowner's injuries are non-life-threatening. He remains in the hospital tonight. Meanwhile, police continue looking for the suspects. Reporting live in East Tulsa, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you.